Hey y'all, it's American Mom. I'm going to be watching episode 12 of season 6, Sopranos. We just finished episode 11. I did my review at the end of that episode. I think I talked about everything I wanted to talk about. I'm ready to watch the next episode right away to see what happens. So let's do this. That's the guy that stabbed the other guy. I know he's with our crew. What's his name? <gasps> Ow! <laughs> well, that was just uh, what an opening. I thought it was gonna be a steak. That's the guy. Oh, oh, we're getting rid of them piece by piece. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay. You know what? Oh my gosh! Thomas with another woman. Now what? <clears throat> yeah. It's done. Listen. Gee, sounds like a real weenie roast. Hey, your friend the Shaw was walking in when it happened. Him and some skifuza got blown back on their keisters. He's probably not dead. Tom, I knew! I knew he was gonna get filled! All the real estate. That, uh, meat market. I'll meet your friend. Chicken place. Damn it! You know what I'm talking about. Listen, I just wanted to apologize. That night, uh... Just I make it a policy not to mix business. No apology necessary. Liz LaServa tried to commit suicide. Pills. Oh. What'd you do that for? Apparently she got a letter for aid from the Salvation Army. Why, it's homeless? She made a donation every year to feed the homeless on Thanksgiving. The letter set Liz off, evidently. Look, I gotta say, you know, I commiserate with the woman, but... She thinks her daughter is dead. She's not gonna let that you, go. I told you I had another dream about Aiden Paris. I forgot to mention French that. policeman told me she was dead, and I had to tell her. I know, Carl. Pepe Le Pew. Doesn't change the fact that Adriana is missing. I know you got a new gomma. What can I say? Oh. Huh? But a pregnant wife at home. Your timing is fucking priceless. Playground's closed. Man has his needs. Good point. When Carmel had a spec house, I can't tell you how many nights I defended for myself while she was out looking at bathroom fixtures. So there's no one. How come you don't bring her around? Honestly, I would. Bobby but, don't uh, have one. He's decent. Between us, she's black. Oh, you're paying a shine? She's hot, too. Classy. Not that it would matter to Paulie. I'd still have to listen to all his racial bullshit. Yeah. True. She would feel it, too. Tony's racist as well. They all are. If you're not Italian, you're not good enough. Hey, Uncle oh, hell. Uh-oh. It's my girl. Give me. Give me that cheek. I just did your paperwork. She's too old for you, Rachel. Jersey? Hello. My urologist, I gotta take Who this. is she? Sprano! I'm sorry, I'm such a pigsty. I, I just thought that was Christopher. And I'm a pig? Gonna get a tree in here? Then I saw her, and I thought, well, maybe this Tony. Me. Oh, he's gonna kick his ass. Christmas Eve's just another day to you? I actually usually go to some incredibly shitty movie. It's nothing else to choose from. Makes me worried about my project. Oh, Tony's gonna kick his ass. Oh, maybe. What are we doing here, huh? I don't, I don't know. know. You'll see, eventually you want kids. It'll be good. I don't want a family with her. Well, She's got no idea who I am. True. She doesn't understand you. What about him? He's MIA. A lot of people are concerned for his well-being. Oh. So what the fuck would I know about that? That's the one that got stabbed. Habit, he was last seen in New Jersey. Huh? So was the Hindenburg. <laughs> Maybe you want to look into that, too. Tony, please, <laughs> Phil. We're getting off point. What is the point? I grew up in this guy's. Now, what I'd love to see is a truce. Wipe the slate clean. 
the no-shows, the wire room, veto, put it all behind us. Your brother Billy, whatever happened there? All right, then. Whatever <gasps> happened there? <gasps> the shooter. Whatever happened there? Here we go. I'll rest his soul, man. I'll Tell, tell you what really. fucking happened. Oh. This piece of shit's cousin Calm put down, six Phil. bullets in the kid without any provocation whatsoever. Okay. My cousin's yeah. dead. Yeah. Fuck you. Phil. Hey, we were making headway here. I didn't mean to Fuck say... Fuck what you meant, cocksucker. Come on. Look good there, Carmine Jr. You bastard. Jesus Christ, Carmine, what the fuck? Why would you possibly bring that up? I got a son, Hector. He's three. Oh, that's cool. He and AJ would have a lot to talk about. <laughs> You're gonna call me, right? I'll get back to you. He's gonna find out Christopher's sleeping with her and he's gonna kick his ass. I'm ready. Ah. I, mean, I was up for anything. He signed the escrow papers and I'm not sure what happened, but he left. It was so fucking humiliating. She's in AA with Christopher. I was so worked up. I just needed to smooth it out. That's where they so met. There's the crystal. Oh. Wanna Follow me to that dive on Sip and JFK? I'm thinking she never had a fiance. <laughs> First time we met her. Yeah. Okay, so they met at AA and they're bonding over drugs and she had. Got it. Anyway, I was telling him about aid and he said we should hire professionals to track her down. Leave it alone. Come. It's not as expensive as you might think, Tony. He gave me his card. Another spec house? I need you to go lean on that building inspector. Leave it alone, you said. Do it today, for all our sakes. My wife needs a career. Oh, she needs to be busy. Tony, I... I can't get into it, but there are some rules. Thank you. Don't get into it. I don't want to know. It's just weird, you know, being where he's been. He hasn't been anywhere. Nothing happened. I told you that. Don't matter. He's been there in his mind. Ugh. Fine. So Christopher knows he's brought up the rules. Oh. Ow. Well, he'll get rid of his wife with his unborn child if you want him to. I can't stand him. Oh, here we go. I never got that at all. That piece of shit. It's irrelevant, Phil. But he's testing you all the time, and you keep indulging him. You're right. A whack a boss? I won't do that. It's been done before. And it was wrong then. Eye for an eye then, huh? Pick somebody over there. Remember that real estate agent Tony was dealing with? <laughs> tell him. The Jewish one? Because he's going to tell Tony. He planted the flag. I back off. No, he didn't do shit, she said. He wanted to, and I never pulled the trigger. Okay. It's touchy, but okay. I don't know if it's okay, but fuck him and what he don't know, you know? Good. Tell Tony, whatever your name is. So what's the problem? She's in recovery. Junk. Her? B. It's all right. Go take care of business, AJ. Go get the shit beat out of him. I want to see that. This might be an awesome episode. Look, all right, you guys move. All right, go hang somewhere else. I'll give you this bike. It's a Gary Fisher. It's only a year old. When my parents gave it to me last Christmas. All right. I hope they're gonna laugh at him. I don't need to see this with AJ's face. Oh my God. The building department. They're repealing the stop work order on my spec house. Construction may begin immediately. Tony, is this you? This is the best Christmas present I could ever get. Oh. <laughs> I better return that vacuum I got you then.
We went from no alcohol in the cough medicine to this. He's like, oh shit. My husband! Oh. Phil! Crash cart! Can I get a crash cart? Phil Yatato took a heart attack. A big one, apparently. Oh! So there is a Santa Claus. He's in intensive care over in Brooklyn. Doesn't look too good. Tweet on. Drinks all around. Then, <laughs> uh, club soda for the messenger. And he didn't have to do anything. You're happy about this, too? Well, he's a bastard. The pain of my balls. Yeah. A magical pain, though, huh? The devil you know. After the sheet of little carmines. <laughs> oh, this oh, one. Don't you have nothing? You can make a hand turkey. For Christmas? Fucking idiot. <laughs> That's a gift. It's, it's a little something for you and Karen and the kids. Karen. You wouldn't be right. I mean, frankly, I shouldn't be here after what happened with Tony. He's still up on his cross, huh? Junior, you shot him. Yeah, well, it's not that simple. I know a few things you don't. Like maybe I wasn't acting alone. Junior, JFK was 40 years ago. That's all I'll say about that. <laughs> Bless him. One hand washes the other. <laughs> that oh, says, that was nice. I talking to you. He's nice when he's <laughs> not in his right mind. That's the only time I've liked him. It's when he has dementia. That's messed up. Yes! Yes! I'm so excited right now. Don't let him see you looking. Ah. Ah! Yeah, she's a friend of Kaisha, the black one I was telling you about. She was just now asking me what to get Kaisha for her birthday. What'd you tell her? Luther Vandross, a box set. He's not buying it. A real estate agent. Yeah? I've been banging her. See, I knew some shit was going on. Why the fuck did you lie to me? I wasn't sure how it ended with you two until you sent me straight. I was really hoping that something was going to happen. Tony was... <laughs> I'm totally disappointed. All right. Like he said, Christmas isn't over with yet. I can only hope he beats the shit out of him soon. Still using drugs. Show what else is no one. Huh? That someone close to you may be in danger. Okay. Really? Anybody specific? All they know is uh, it's under serious discussion at top levels. Believe me, nobody ever laid on their deathbed wishing they saved more no show jobs. Stop crying now. This is the first real heart to heart. Are you gonna hug all the ice? <laughs> Nitpicking on something stupid. I love it. Hi, Hector. Oh, look at those eyes. He's so cute. Is this gonna make AJ grow up? Come here. Ah, who's coming later, huh? The Santa Claus coming? Mm -hmm. Huh? Carmela, it's Meadow. <clears throat> she's 10 years older than him, and she's Puerto Rican. Hey. Dominican. Maybe. <laughs> See? At least she's Catholic. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. What are you looking at me like that for? You were overjoyed when I shut him down, eh? Carmela, hmm? your daughter says you're using up all her cell phone minutes. You have a gorgeous home. Thank you. We do. Well, I didn't get what I wanted for Christmas in this episode. I wanted Tony to beat the shit out of Christopher. And that didn't happen. He and... Um, I don't even know her character's name. The real estate lady. They're still having a thing and 
they are enabling each other with their drugs. But then it's like, do, you, do we want to go to a meeting? Like, are they trying to make it like, because they were talking about, you know, we're going to integrate it into our lives. I mean, it's, you know, I like how we do that. So you just use and then, and they're not using needles, so that's okay. So they're using and then they go, do you want to go to a meeting? Yeah, okay, let's go. Okay. Christopher's wife, she's one lucky gal. It seems for now, since the spec house is back on, that Carmela is going to put the investigation on hold about Adriana. Her mom OD'd and Carmela visited her in the hospital and it's just it was just way in honor. So Tony had to get her mind off of it. He talked to Syl and he was like, you know, I told you to just not do it because he was upset with Carmela. He was like, get on it right away. <laughs> so that's happening. AJ, I wasn't sure if this new girl was going to be good for him or bad for him. So she's 10 years older and has a son. Well, I don't know yet. This is just the beginning, but it, I just kind of, you know, I, I kind of, think of him as Christopher the second, you know, in the making because he's just such an asshole most of the time. But I thought he'd be like Christopher would be with the child, you know, irresponsible. You're getting on my nerves, not pay the child any attention just to get to the woman, you know, that's just, so I didn't know if it was going to be good for him or bad for him, but it looks like it's good for him right now. Don't spoil anything for me. The little boy is adorable, but she's 10 years older. So that's, and just, she's a different nationality. So that's an issue. We always welcome that. <laughs> but hey, she's Catholic. Phil is in the hospital. He did have a heart problem, and I think he'll recover, but he and Tony had a moment, and I had said in the last episode that he was going to get what was coming to him, and Tony didn't care when he heard something was wrong with him, because it was like, I didn't have to, I didn't do it, I didn't, I didn't have to, you know, threaten him or hurt him or, I mean, the building blew up, but they had a moment, and I had said... They have, I have not seen them connect because I had seen him and Johnny in the past. Like, they had a past and they, they had talked. But we saw some of that this episode. So I don't know moving forward when he gets better. Maybe he will focus on his family and the grandkids and life. That is something that Tony took away from being in his coma. Like, Tony was just saying, you know, the whole revenge thing over... Rusty and Billy, like, it's done. Stop bringing it up. We'll see. It was a really good episode. I enjoyed this week's a lot. I thank y'all for watching this with me. Until the next video and the next time. Bye.